Work on the Karuma hydropower project has been steadily progressing since it started in 2013 with many of the major components already taking shape. The project contractors, Sino Hydro Corporation Limited, say the major components are on course. Despite this seemingly smooth flow, the project consultant, Surendra Kumar, told a delegation of officials from the Uganda Electricity Generation Company Limited that the work is two and a half months behind schedule due to lack of equipment. Manpower is okay, machines limited somewhere, some machines are not available, uh, most of them are there, uh, material is okay, the methodology is okay except for some places, and their money is no problem. Although most of the work is going on well, the consultant says the procedures used in constructing the underground tunnels are yet to be harmonized. Authorities in Sino Hydro maintain that the delay has more to do with bureaucratic procedures than financial constraints. However, Sino Hydro was also put to task over its management of health and safety issues. Because if we can have small issues not attended to now, what about big issues? Quality, quality is important and compliance is important. Dr. Stephen Isabalija, the board chairman of the Uganda Electricity Generation Company, also faulted the contractor for doing a shoddy job in the construction of the workers' house. Most of the Ugandan engineers are not residing at the site due to a shortage of lodging facilities. Wherever they will be, we don't care. We're going to send our staff here. We want them to have their transport, their cars, all what it takes. The monitoring system, we want it up. <laughs> President Yore Museveni launched the construction of the 600 megawatts Karuma hydropower project in 2013. The $1.6 billion project, financed by the Chinese and Ugandan governments, will be completed by 2018. The multi billion project is expected to drastically help reduce Uganda's power shortages. And to us, we think the same dam should be done and on much better standards. I think you have heard of issues that have happened internationally on the dams collapsing. We believe this one shouldn't be done. Despite technical and logistical challenges, the 600 megawatts Karuma hydropower project is finally ongoing, as you can see with the work going on here. And this means, at the end of the day, light, after all, at the end of the tunnel. Moses Akena, NTV, at Karuma.